Hi, good afternoon. My name is Bea, and I'm very pleased to have this opportunity to tell you a little bit more about the story of Kemana. So who is Kemana? Kemana is a family-run, purpose-driven, creative studio that is based in Bali and in Singapore. We were born in 2019, and what we do is we blend European design with heritage craftsmanship from Southeast Asia, from Indonesia, and soon in other parts also of the region. Um, what is it that we make? Oh, we make bags. We make bags and accessories. Um, and we use leather, which otherwise would be discarded as waste. We turn waste into something beautiful. We play with the leather. We embroider the leather. We weave the leather. We even paint the leather. And then we make bags that are made to last a lifetime. And that also like are timeless. And they are made for him, for her, for they. They're there like in that idea of being as, as inclusive also as possible. One of the things that we are very proud about, you have, you can see here some other designs, is that our bags are even more beautiful from the inside, honoring that beauty that shines from inside. And we use that traditional fabric that is called Rang Rang, that is hand woven in the island of Nusa Penida next to Bali. And as you can see, it has those beautiful colors and that diamond shape. And it's that technique that was at the verge of extinction because there were very few weavers left who could make it. Now, thanks to the growing demand from brands like us, it's becoming the major source of income from those uh, for those women working in these cooperatives. Very briefly um, about our traction and some of the milestones so far and some achievements, as I was saying, like we're entirely self-financed, like social um, driven and purpose driven venture, fashion venture. We have developed so far six capsule collections and two more in the making. We're also working now towards a homeware collection. We have more than 60 products. We're trying to adapt constantly to the, to the market trends that we're seeing also, um, getting feedback also from the customers that we have. And we've been growing growing organically using a combination of online and brick and mortar channels like some of the ones that you can see here, the Canvas in New York, Chris Shop, Wolf and Badger, Design Orchard, etc. And we have been very honored to have been like um, featured in a number of magazines um, where you can see some of our bags and products. So how do we do it? And I will spend here a little bit more of time because this is really central to, to, to Kemana. And here you can see some of the artisans we work with. So inside out, as we are saying here, we are a purpose-driven creative studio. And this is something that is very central to us. As I often say, sustainability is not something that we add to what we do, it's something that is part of our DNA. And here you have some of the principles or the pillars that guide our sustainability commitments. So using endangered craft techniques that otherwise, as I was saying, for the weavers would be lost. Working in partnership, we are not a factory-based brand. We work in partnership and fair partnerships with the weaver cooperatives, with two foundations in Bali, also with the leather artisans, with the silversmith. We invest back in the community, so we ensure we provide capacity capacity development to our partners, and we also give back 20% of our profits back to the community. Everything we do is locally sourced and handmade, entirely handmade. Everything is natural, and this is something we, our mantra is back from the earth, back to the earth, so that the leather we use is vegetable tan using vegetable pigments, and it doesn't have like chemicals like uh, chromium, um, that the tanneries we work with have like proper waste and water management systems in place. We're also trying to offset our like uh, carbon footprint, and we're trying to become more and more transparent by explaining what we can achieve, what we cannot achieve, because for us, really, sustainability is like a journey. This is a little bit about what we have achieved so far since we were created back in 2019. So when it comes to the people, we work with over 60 Indonesian artisans, 60% of them are women. And we have made an estimation that we have impacted so far about 400 beneficiaries. And as I was saying, we try to give back consistently to the community. And now we're together with the Bali Curator, we're setting up a creativity fund to support local and young talent uh, from the young artisans so that they can also become makers when it comes to the planet, as I was saying, natural materials, everything is handmade, everything is like locally sourced, also trying to offset like our carbon footprint, etc. And what sets us apart, as I was saying, is that whole idea of partnerships at local, regional and global level, together with others to try to contribute to build together that ecosystem of like uh, sustainability. 
So why we do that and what is next for us? And I will finish with this. I will end this. Uh, I will end my presentation with this. We have a vision and that vision is to start changing the narrative about um, craftsmanship in this part of the world because it seems to be quite undervalued. And we want to empower and work together with the artisans to create what we refer to as a new standard of timeless and, 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 and assuming elegance proudly and responsibly made in Southeast Asia and also in full transparency. These are some of our objectives, what we're already working on for this year and next year. So we are strengthening and expanding the network of artisans, social enterprises and cooperatives we work with. We're trying also to gain traction in the current markets like in Singapore, in Australia. And, uh, and we are also trying to expand our presence to new markets as we have managed to grow our resilient supply chain and we are able to grow without compromising our values. So our invitation to you is that you join us to shake the world in a gentle way. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, I would be very happy to answer them. Thank you.